everyone. In this video, I'm going to show you a couple of my favorite A7 arpe arpeggio shapes uh, over that backing track, which was just uh, A7 chords. Uh, this one, this one, and then I went to that one, I think, and then the 13 and um, the sharp 5. But anyway, uh, what I just did for you was uh, simply two notes of string starting from the 7th, G, G, A, C sharp, and E, and then I just did it in different octaves. And you could hear it makes up some pretty cool uh, melodies. The second way I'm going to show you is um, another favorite place in mine. It's from the third. So you're going to start on C sharp and still two notes of string. C sharp, E, G, A. And then... Okay, so... Um, let me give it a whirl for you. Here we go. Uh, bottom three, in. The last two ways will be from the root note A and then from the fifth E. They're not as user-friendly of shapes as the other two. The first one started on the seventh G and the other one starts on the third. Uh, this is all two notes of string. So when you start on the root note, you get a, a big stretch from your root to your third because it's two steps. So that's, that's your root to your third and then your fifth E to your seventh is here. So, um... That's what the shape looks like. A, C sharp, E, G, and then... Uh, I forgot what I was doing. Sorry, A, C sharp, E, G. So uh, let me just use that for you over the track. Here we go. one is when you start on the fifth. Now there's something really cool that I found. When you do it from fret 12, you have this. E, G, A, and C sharp. But when you come down here and you do it from open, you get these cool open licks. extra notes in there, but here's the main arpeggio. So I'll put the track on and I'll use some of that for you to make up uh, some lines over the backing track.
finger string very effective way to practice arpeggios. Helps you learn the notes, helps you learn where they are on the fretboard, and uh, it's pretty cool technique to use to make up solos. I hope you enjoyed this lesson.